Hi, my name is Fred. I'm from Crossland Software. I would like to give you a brief tutorial of Mass Editor. Mass Editor is used primarily to facilitate the 3D simulation. It will create the necessary files for the C Supreme. If you have GDS2 file available, you can use the import GDS file function to input your uh, GDS2 file. Otherwise, we'll create the structure by ourselves. Now, we can create a simple layer by clicking this one. Uh, we want, for example, we want a square shape and we just uh, draw the square like this. And um, another window pop up. We can define the rectangular rectangle uh, parameters. For example, we can uh, define the, the width as uh, eight microns and the height with uh, eight micron. So essentially, we want it to be a square. Uh, the rectangular left, we can put it to zero, and this one can be put in zero. So now we have created an, uh, our first layer. And uh, we can change the name of this first uh, this layer uh, using a uh, label here. For example, I want to rename it uh, test one. Okay. So uh, you can see uh, on, on the left hand side, uh, this table gives you information about um, about this layer, the layer number, the layer label, and the layer color. The color can be changed. You can change to whatever color you want, and um, and um, you can uh, you can also uh, select uh, you want it to be a few or just want the the uh, Oscar. Um, the purpose uh, the purpose for this layer uh, there are three choices for this uh, for the purpose. We can either have um, a general purpose or a edge purpose or change material the for general purpose the mask layer is normally used for implant mask for edge purpose we can use this mask to edge a certain shape that we want and for the change material is a convenient way to change a certain part of the material into another material. This is especially useful if we want to define a certain area of this device to be a constant doping, so so that we can define the etched uh, 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 the original material to be etched, for example, silicon, and we can define the filling material. For example, if we want just to use constant doping, we can fill it with another. Uh, another silicon, but we can, uh, we can also define the depths and the dopen, dopen type, uh, either um, N type or P type or whatever. And we can also specify the doping concentration uh, if we want to use it as a change material. So, for this layer, if we want to move it a little bit, we can conveniently use um, the right hand side panel. Uh, for example, if we want to move it to the uh, center of this uh, of this screen, we can put a one here, one here, and remember to save layer property. And now we move this layer to the center of this default area. The simulation area is actually defined as the uh, uh, as the uh, the wafer area. That you want to simulate. So let's first save this project. Uh, for example, we just want to limit that uh, test. Okay. So you can see from the simulation area, we can uh, it is uh, by default defined as from the x range from zero to ten and y range from zero to ten. We can just keep it. Now we have one mask layer. We now need to define the basic mesh for this uh, for the substrate. 
we can click basic mesh and give us an uh, option to change the mesh line the mesh line numbers in the x direction and uh, in the y direction we can also change the substrate material from silicon to any other substrate uh, any other materials and also the substrate thickness these two blocks are reserved for for the um, densification, localized densification for X position and Y position. And we can just keep it there. So now uh, we, uh, we want to take a quick look of what this um, photo mask looks like. We can simply click preview. This preview is basically uh, will create the the basic structure and we'll see it from a uh, cross view now you see the structure is created with a photo mask around here remember that we define this area as uh, negative polarity it means that this join area this join area is to be implanted so in the center of this device is the photo resist is etched away now we want to create another layer instead of using the rectangle we want to use a circle We can choose the coordinates. Uh, this x, y is in the center point of the circle, and we, uh, this is the radius of the circle. We can choose it to be uh, so 25 or whatever you want, and um, it's here. And if you want to make it uh, smoother, we can put more vertex number, for example, 32, and save it. Okay. Now we have a second layer, a circular shaped mask layer, and we don't want to use it as an implant mask, we want to use it as an etching, etching mask. We want to use it to create a um, circular shaped edge of the silicon. So we can choose edge. A material, we should choose silicon. And the depth, we can choose, for example, uh, 2 microns below the surface and we can just uh, save this uh, layer property okay so you can see that the purpose has been changed to edge okay uh, but remember that we have photo resist left for this first layer as we have seen uh, in the uh, um, in the cross line view and we want to get rid of this photo resist so that we can um, show how the circular edge is performed. So we can add a supreme command here as to edge the photo resist all. So you see, um, supreme command is added to the first layer. So after performing the first layer, you will edge the photo resist and then we'll do the uh, second, second, uh, second edge. And now we can just save it and uh, press preview you can see after we press uh, uh, preview a lot of blue con lines appear these blue con lines indicate the z cut z cut lines and each cut line in, uh, it represents um, Z play. The Z play contains information of the of the X Y mesh. It takes a while because um, in the background, at the, in the backstage, it performs um, C supreme process simulation. So basically, after you press the preview, 
it will create some files that is that are necessary for the CC3 to generate the input files so that they can create the structure. So now you see uh, this um, this structure is created uh, with um, circular shaped edge and the depth is about uh, is two microns. If the structure from preview looks okay, we can now do the 3D sequence cut. But before that, you can also add more planes. Uh, that's a cut place uh, to increase the match density in the Z direction. So, for example, if we want to add um, at a cut location at um, 4.5 micro in the Z direction. And we want to add another at, uh, for example, 5.5. Okay, we just apply, and you see some dash line here. You just cl uh, click OK here. So, so you see, uh, two cut lines will be added later on uh, to uh, 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 to this structure, so that uh, more Z mesh Z mesh lines can be created. Finally, we can just uh, click 3D save and cut. And we see two extra lines appear here. One is at uh, 4.5 and the other one is located at 5.5. Okay, so after all of this is done, uh, we can go to the make control and we can start Simu CC print program and proceed with uh, the process simulation. We can open the the uh, temp.in file from the working folder and in this working folder we notice that there's another subfolder called preview. This folder is automatically created by mass editor uh, when we are uh, using the preview function. So now we use the uh, temp.in uh, which is the input file for process simulation and this is a temp uh, uh, temporary file created or a template file created by the mass editor um, so that the user can just uh, add the ccbring command uh, here but um, we recommend the user to rename this this file to whatever other name you want for example test in So the next time, uh, you, will, you will not get confused or overwritten by the um, mass editor. Um, so if you look at the, um, the this panel, you see a lot of uh, so-called geo files. These geo files are the Z plane files. It contains, each Z plane contains the XY mesh information. So you can see um, each plane has the, uh, each file has the information for X and Y and also has the zmesh.zst file which is the, the file that defines the location of these uh, Z planes for the uh, interested uh, audience you can go to help tutorial and will give you a more detailed information about um, uh, the how to use the um, uh, mass editor and the and most importantly uh, the file structure that, uh, that is created by um, uh, by the mass editor program uh, that concludes my uh, uh, my tutorial thank you very much